Today on the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, we're gonna prep a questionable sample of ceiling tile for a mail-in asbestos test, and then we're gonna send it off, wait for the results, and have a look at it. I've got this old ceiling tile that kind of goes into my laundry room in the basement, and it's old. It's probably from the 1950s or 60s. I don't think it's asbestos, but just to be safe before I were to go pull this ceiling out, I want to go ahead and have it tested. And the test kit that I bought, it only cost $25 and you still have to pay for a stamp when you mail it in. So it's about $25 and 50 cents all said and done. And you basically just take a sample yourself, send it off in the mail, wait a few days and they'll mail you the results back. So I think that's a nice quick and dirty way to kind of just make sure you're being a little bit safe when you're doing a project like this. Now, until we know for sure that this isn't asbestos, we're gonna treat it exactly like it is. So we're gonna wear some protective gear and we're gonna do things like make sure that the HVAC system, if you've got a forced air system, is turned off and you're not circulating all this stuff anytime you were to um, disturb the material. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull a piece of tile down and then we'll have a sample to work with. So if your stuff is visibly kinda loose, you're gonna wanna take a spray bottle of water and just kinda damp it, squirt it down a little bit before you actually pull that sample so you're not really creating any you know, dust or particles floating through the air. I'll put a link in the description for everything used in this video, including the $25 asbestos test. This is a pretty good respirator that I'll use for some woodworking projects and stuff. It's your standard 3M um, cartridge style respirator. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that on and then I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves when I grab one of these samples. And now we can nice and gently pull down one or two of these tiles. Extra gentle. Once you've got your tile down, you can go ahead and open up your package to pull out your asbestos sample testing kit. In the kit, we've got a little padded pack a uh, return mailer, some instructions, and a chain of custody paper for you to fill out. Got some personal protective gear, so a little mask, and some gloves like you're gonna make a hoagie. And that's it. I labeled my little baggie, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick on my hoagie gloves. You can just keep wearing the gloves you already had on if you still have your nitrile gloves on. And now we'll take our piece of ceiling tile and again, we'll be nice and gentle with it so we don't disturb it. Squirt it down with a little water if it's loose. One extra squirt. And I'm using a little razor blade just to kinda cut some little bits and pieces out. If your sample is friable, like mine, where you can kind of crumble it up into little bits, you don't need much. You just need one teaspoon. So I'll try to get, I'll get a little bit more than that just to be safe. And if you have a non-friable sample, like a floor tile, something that you can't crush into like a powder, then you're gonna need about a square inch. So a little bit more. Then we'll throw it in our little baggie. And I better get a little bit more just to be safe. Now we can get rid of our tile. 
And I'm just gonna write sample one on the little padded pack as well. If you've got multiple samples, probably wanna do something like sample one, two, three, etc. Stick the baggie in the padded pack. Seal it up. And I've already filled out my chain of custody form. It's pretty simple. Um, you basically put your address, you put where it's collected, um, you know, basement, attic, things like that. And this is just so that um, if this is a more professional operation, you can show this and have a more official piece of paperwork. And once we put everything back in our little package, we're gonna seal it up and throw a stamp on it and put a return address on it, mail it off. It's been about two weeks since we sent the asbestos test out and we finally got the results. And if you wanted to send it quicker, I'm sure you could probably save four or five days off that time. Um, really realistically, you don't really wanna send it with a stamp like I did, but I'm super cheap. So I sent it with a stamp. You should really send it with some trackable mail though. So spend the $4, but let's go ahead and click and see what the results are. So this is the way the um, test report comes back. It's kind of weird. It's from a different company name than the um, company that we sent it through, but whatever, I'm not too worried about that. Um, but if you look, there's some really good news here. So you see my sample number. This is all the stuff from the chain of custody report that I sent in. And it says 98% cellulose, 2% paint. So that's really good news. We don't have to worry about asbestos. I'm still gonna wear a mask when I tear this stuff down and be relatively cautious because you don't really wanna be breathing in any construction materials for that matter. But good news here, we'll scroll down. Second page is just a couple signatures, nothing fancy here. And then on the final page, it's the lab where they filled in on my chain of custody report that I sent in. And like I said, everything looks good. If you wanna do a little asbestos test on your own or have some samples sent in, nothing fancy that you have to do really. Just buy one of these little kits online and send it in rather than you know calling in some super expensive fancy company. If you like DIY videos like this, make sure to click subscribe below and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching.